sometimes it could be nice to have a default setup for our structs. Um, that allows us to not have to always like have a, a new function, or if we do have a new function, it just calls default on you know all the fields of a struct, and then we can add fields in, and as long as they know what a default is, they could then you know just automatically deal with it. Let's go ahead and imagine that we're creating like a person, like a player, let's say. So let's uh, do a struct um, player. And um, let's just say that we have, um, uh, like maybe it's it's health. So we can do health, and that's a U32 in here. Now, normally I would have to like, when I create the player, uh, if I want to do like an impul and like a new, so impul player and do a pub function new, uh, we're going to return a new self. We'll have to remember that our, um, maybe, maybe health is the wrong word. Let's do damage. Uh, dam damage might be better. Like how much damage have we taken? Um, so let's say uh, we'll do self damage is zero well i mean that kind of doesn't make that much sense because zero on any number is actually going to be just default um now rust actually knows what that is but we have to kind of tell it what to do so there's two ways to implement defaults uh for what what this is um, one way, and perhaps the easiest way, is to use a derive macro for us. So if I just do this and I do derive, I can then write in default. Now I don't need to use this anymore. I can now just say, you know what? I just want self with a capital S, and it's essentially now a static method available to us. So self default. And if I now create this, let's do let player equals uh, player new. This damage is zero. If I attempt to debug this, uh, let's do a debug of the player. And we run this. Uh, actually, we're going to get an error here because it's saying that, uh, oh, player doesn't implement debug. Let's go ahead and implement debug as well if i run this we see that damage is in fact zero okay that's great um now what if i wanted a custom number what if i actually wanted to do that health to, uh, that we began with and i want this to begin with 100 for us but i don't want to have to like pass in a number here so well, there's, um, I can't do this anymore. I can't derive default, but default is just a trait. So we can implement it ourselves and override the default. So let's go ahead and impl default for player. And because I'm using Rust Analyzer and VS Code, I can just implement the, uh, the default members here. I'm pretty sure that the other, um, um, everything else can do this as well, but uh, I just really love the fact that I can just add these in here really easily. I haven't checked uh, like Vim or, um, or CLion, but I'm sure that you can get the exact same functionality with whatever editor you're using. Uh, okay, so for default, it's very, very, very simple. We're gonna return a self here with whatever the defaults we want to be. So I wanna say self, and we're going to say health, and you're going to be 100. And that's it. Now, if we debug this, we're going to see that uh, our health by default is 100. Now, the negative for this method is if I add something else in here, like our speed, uh, and you're going to be also a U32, I now need to add that in manually as part of this default. So it is something to be aware of that if you are gonna implement it yourself, it does mean that you have to now implement all of these fields yourself as well. Um, perhaps also something that is, um, it's self-evident 
after you've like run into it a few times, it might be something that sort of like catches you off guard is everything in here now needs to implement default. Now for these numbers like this, we're implementing those ourselves. Let's go back to our uh, default here. So both of these are gonna be zeros. Let's say our health is actually gonna be another struct health. So I'm gonna have a struct health here. Um, and maybe like the amount, uh, let's do that. Let's do a tuple struct. Uh, and this is gonna be a, a U32. The problem here, if I want to just have default is health itself doesn't implement default. Well, nor does it implement debug. So let's go ahead and fix that, drive debug. Um, but it doesn't implement default. So it doesn't know how to actually like what to do for it. So either like here, I would have to like impulse default or this actually makes a little bit more sense. I can implement default for this specific health here. Uh, so like self of 100. And if I have like a speed, um, or maybe like a damage, uh, for some reason, like damage taken this turn, maybe, um, that can be a U32 and that could start off with a zero and I can sort of mix and match things as I want. It's just something to keep in mind that if you are going to have complicated structs that then have other structs embedded inside of them, if you need something like a debug or a default, those have to be derived or implemented for those types all the way down. Otherwise, things won't work out for you. However, the compiler will tell you exactly which ones need to have them added in. And as we can see, implementing them ourselves is not very hard. It's not black magic, and it's something that uh, we shouldn't be afraid, afraid of. So anyways, I'm hoping that this is helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.